I understand that um, often we find that boys are more turned on to nonfiction than girls are. And I, I think about that sometimes. I think the books that I write um, are especially interesting to boys. Um, I can't help it. I'm, I'm drawn to the dark side. I'm drawn to the dark stories. And, and I love looking for those dark stories because, you know, you know, there's, I just want to figure them out. I want to understand why. I want to make meaning out of them. Um, I find that I get um, a lot of letters and emails, especially from boys who are um, who really enjoy um, reading about um, whether it's um, you know stories like the Third Reich when they want to try to figure out um, Hitler and what would cause a man to do such a thing, or they like to put themselves in in the rules of the of the young um, people in in the books. Um, they enjoy the photographs, I mean, because that makes very active reading. And, you know, I, so I, I find that, you know, boys are getting um, turned on to reading through nonfiction. I like my nonfiction to serve a, a couple of purposes. One, um, if I have a reluctant reader, I love using photographs. Um, I love doing the photo research, for one thing. For me, that's very rewarding. But I also find that it pulls readers into the text. You know, so they can use the pictures. And so reluctant readers, I, I, I think we're tricking them <laughs> into reading um, by getting those the best possible images to reflect the story. And so I think the images are doing double duty. I think, for one, uh, they are pulling readers into the text and they are illustrating the text. But for um, some people like to read a story through images. And so they can also read the story of the Hitler Youth by reading the images as they page through the book. Before I was a children's book author, I was an eighth grade English teacher and I taught eighth grade for 18 years. Um, all the while that I was teaching, I was also writing. In, in fact, I, I just, I did all the homework. If my students wrote a poem, I wrote a poem. If they wrote a story, I wrote a story. Uh, they would bring their work into class and we'd share and um, talk about ways they could make their writing better. Sometimes I'd bring my work into class and share and they'd tell me how to make my work better. So I credit my eighth grade students with giving me my voice and my audience because at that time I had no idea that I was going to become a writer, especially somebody who likes to write for young readers. Funding for AdLit.org is provided by the Ann B. and Thomas L. Friedman Family Foundation. For more information on adolescent literacy, please visit us online at www.adlit.org.